There's a car. Man, we're not over it. Man, look how orange that thing is. <laughs> this is so awesome. Is the whole rear end gonna fall off? It looks like it. <laughs> oh no. Will this be the one that gets us arrested? Tune in. Right there. It's a flip up. It is. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? I'm Adam Brown. And I'm Jeremy, AKA Nug. We search the rivers and lakes across America for wrecked vehicles underwater. You wouldn't know it by just looking, but there's thousands out there, and everyone tells a story. Insurance fraud, stolen, accidents. It's our mission to search for the missing, find vehicles, and remove them from harming our environment. This is Wrecked and Recovered. I think we are lost, man. You're supposed to be navigating. It's pretty hard this, to get lost. This tow truck. I am definitely not the navigator. I am the town, the face. You're the face. Okay. I'm the I'm the beauty in front of the I'll, camera. I'll let you have that. You're the muscle. Let's see if the people agree. I think no. they would. Well, I might it used to be the muscle. We'll put a poll out. Who who's the <laughs> face? And then they'll be like, they'll definitely say Adam. Oh, okay. Because you have the baby face, and I have the old man face, <laughs> which sucks. Dude, I'm, I'm seriously like lost right now. Don't you? Oh, you gotta flip a. You gotta flip a B. I, I gotta do a Yui. A Yui. Speaking of you, we're in the University of Tennessee. UT. UT. The Vols. I hear they they had a good run at, at football this this past season. Oh yeah, they, they lost a goalpost. I heard. They did, and we was gonna find it, but apparently somebody else did. But apparently we found something else even more amazing. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is it? Something big and orange. Uh, oh, a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> um, <it's> close. close. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently you found yourself a taxi cab. I mean, not me. You, we, well, we, I was. We found. I was on the boat. I, I found a car on a sonar, and you dove it and confirmed it is a cool old taxi cab. Orange. It, it, I, I want to say it's orange because it does say big orange taxi. But my history of c guessing colors of cars underwater is not too great. Could be pink. I don't think it's pink. <laughs> we were we were a little rusty, man. We haven't. Pulled out a car since Christmas. Did we get a tag on it? No, I couldn't. It was too buried in the back. I was digging. Okay, so the, all it. the windows are up. The and windows are up. We don't have a tag. Yes. Hopefully, we can find a VIN or something, and the cops can run in. Perfect, man. You think we get any closer to that semi truck? I don't know. These these truckers, man, they're they're ballsy. Man, he's like, you just get just write your name on it as he goes by. <laughs> Adam Brown was here. <laughs> we'll just tag it, wrecked and recovered. Yep. Wake up! Did we you? got a taxi to, to catch. Oh my. <laughs> Let's go get that taxi! <laughs> you got a whistle. <laughs> you can't whistle? I'll teach you later. <laughs> Alright, man, we're here. Yeah! It only took like six hours. It's a way better day than it was last <laughs> time, though. So, like, this actually feels like it could be a fun day. It is warm, the water looks still perfect conditions. I'm if, excited, man. If it was just a little clear, but it's not it's not zero viz. I, so. I think it's a, a It's about the same as it was last time. Yeah. So, I think it'll be all right. So, we already know that there's a car out here. Adam has already dove it and confirmed what it is. So, now all we got to do is dive it again, get this thing hooked up so we can start pulling it out. This thing should be like right there. Uh I don't, mm, yeah. I mean, it's not too far. Cause you swam back and forth and you know, I'd have to take you with the boat. Yeah. So, it shouldn't be too hard. The only problem is how far that way. That means we're gonna get it up on these rocks and it's gonna give us grief. But maybe if we put the- Well, if we park right here. Yeah, I mean, you could back down pull. and, and angle, like just back and like kind of, you know, turn it a little bit. A little bit, yeah. And then like that, that should, we should be able to pull it right here and then we could remove the tow truck and then pull it up and then go all the way up there and try to get the car all the way up there where we're parked. It's right. kind of weird. There's like the universe, the boardwalks from like the school. People are walking up and down. So we are going to be careful in case you guys notice people walking behind us at any point. I think they'll be all right. Um, Unless it's like a whole man. Yeah, we're not going to have anybody standing there. They might. You know, you know people. <laughs> but safety first, as always. But the last time we were out here, we were able to find what appears to be a bright orange 80s Plymouth taxi cab. Now this thing is definitely unique. I've never seen a car like this, so I'm really excited to come out here and hopefully pull this out today. 
Let's uh, put your boat in. What, mark this thing again? Yeah. We can almost just throw a magnet right there. It's so close though. No, you watch, we're gonna mark it. And then we'll realize like, oh yeah, it was a little bit farther. There's it's so many, always a little bit farther. You're gonna have to drive over these rocks and crap. Yeah, we'll be all right. This boat ramp is, I don't think really used anymore, which is good for us. Yeah, it makes me happy. We love taking over boat ramps. Yeah, all day. Yeah. Yeah, there is no current. There's like, man. Oh, they just, must be, a, must be a February thing. Maybe. I don't know. All right, let's get the boat. Let's do it. Gonna put the boat in the water down this sketchy boat ramp. Give me your stick. Don't eat the yellow snow. Man, you're so strong, Jeremy. I look good, don't I? You're my hero. Man. <laughs> I, always I, wouldn't go, I wouldn't say good, but. I always want to be some hero. <laughs> we can be heroes. So apparently that, that trailer just done disappeared when I backed up. I think it just. Oh, you can't even see it? <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoops. Must have fell off the end there. Ready to rock? I want to rock! Ugh. You can kind of see back there downtown past this bridge. So, I mean, we're a stone's throw away, you would say, right? A stone's throw. Man, you shut the boat off with your crotch. It's my leg. Is that your talent? Yeah, it's huge. It's like, I can't do much, but I can turn boats off with using my crotch. <laughs> Does anybody else want to challenge me? <laughs> Somewhere there's a car. Man, we're not over. You leave it. It's so far from the boat ramp, man. How many feet is it? It's 20 feet. Really? Yeah, you see We're, right there. We went right really, over it. There's the car. I didn't Pretty think cool. 20 feet. But I know. So as always, we have this big old magnet we use to hook on the vehicles and then put a buoy on it and we can just follow the line down when we dive. Makes it super easy to find the car. You are so smart. What is it like to have a brain the size of yours? It hurts. Let her rip. We're on it. Man, that was quick. You're some kind of professional. Just got this car marked with a buoy. It is my turn to dive. So I'm gonna suit up. We're gonna get down there, see if we can get this thing rigged up to pull out of the water. Oh, I was wondering what sprayed the fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher started going off. Oh, no. It's empty now. Oh, oh no. Woo! Yeah, that's... It's old, dude. It I mean, it's totally in service. It's good. Totally. I wouldn't put that in your video. All right, man. I was going to dive, but since you graciously volunteered your services. I know, because I love to dive. I really Every did. time I get to the water, I want to dive. I really wanted to dive this one, because I, I, I was not feeling great, and I don't want to feel worse with the pressure and whatnot. Man. Yeah. How about you dive, and then you run the tow truck, and I'll just watch. I like it. <laughs> you make movie magic. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that noise was. <laughs> okay. You see what we have to deal with? You see what I have to deal with? I, well, you know I think what? you had a tail. I was, uh... You are trying to catch catch a fish? I was doing a little magnet fishing <laughs> while, while, while backing up. You know, I don't think that's ever been done by van. Yeah, top that. <laughs> Y'all magnet fish off bridges. <laughs> magnet fish. Boat right. ramps. Well, you know what time it is, right? Time to get dressed. It's time for an epic sizzle reel of you getting ready. Ooh, sizzle. Go! <laughs> Did it do it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> 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 Man, you look like a professional. Holy smokes. Oh. How cool is that? That thing's barging in charge, huh? Man. See what I did there? I see it. I got a rope. So what is your plan here? Here's basically the car. Yeah, you tell me what it looks like now. The car is facing us pretty much like this. Okay? So right where the boot is. This should be easy. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Neat. And so I think 
this driver's side is pretty unburied, but the dirt kind of comes up like here a little bit. And it's kind of level with the top over here. Mm. And the back is kind of buried. So, you know, this side is going to be your, your key. I mean, we could hook it on one wheel and hope it breaks free. I just don't want to rip the axle off like the other one. It really depends. Wheels are steel, I guess. Flat, all that stuff. Maybe the old Plymouth wheels, I don't, I think they're... Oh, I had hubcaps on it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, we'll figure it out. Are you going to go down with the rope first, tie it on, and yeah, come back I up? Figured. I think we'll have enough length. Well, this will tell us it's a 100 foot rope. Yeah, I'm going to go down and hook this up. That way we have a guide rope. Yeah. And then I'll come back for the chains and everything. Because and... that rope's 100 feet and our line's 100 feet. So if that rope reaches back, we know we have enough line to go straight to it. All right, and we are using our OTS face masks. Uh, we do have communications coming in soon. OTS has been the best piece of equipment for us. And uh, if you guys are fellow divers, I really recommend going and getting yourself some OTS gear. Yeah. They've been awesome oh, to yeah. us. Oh, dude. Oh. Am I close enough yet? Yeah. <laughs> You're a little off on the buried part. I mean, I had to dig up the one wheel. The other side is, it's like up to the window. Like there is no I digging. I didn't have great visibility and I, could, I don't know. I knew it was a little worse on that side. Yeah, it's definitely buried, but. This side is definitely better though. I mean, I dug up the one wheel. I think, I think I got down to some control arms where I could hook a J hook on it, but yeah, I'm gonna be surprised if this thing pops out of that mud. I mean, it is like when I was digging, it was like clay. I'm like, oh man, dude, I don't know. You think but I mean, it's it? solid. While I was reaching way in there behind the wheel, yeah, I was like, I, I kept feeling stuff. I'm like, this doesn't belong in here. And I started digging. I was like, it's foamy, and I finally pulled it out, and it was round. And I was like, okay, let's concentrate. <laughs> and I looked down at it slowly. It was a Nerf soccer ball that was stuffed in the wheel well. In the wheel? And I'm like, why are you in here? So what do you think, J-hook? I guess just one J-hook. And maybe, see if we could, might pull it out of the mud. A wing and a prayer? But man, that car, it looks neat for as old as it is. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I was. I mean, it's definitely orange. It's got white pinstripe on it. Yeah. I see the, the, the front, I know exactly what kind of car this is. This is a big boat. It says Plymouth on the front. Yeah. It's a little ugly Plymouth though. It's like, yeah. a, I don't know, like a early 80s maybe. Well, we haven't failed yet, man. This is our ninth car. This would be the biggest car. <laughs> we got the car hooked up. It definitely is a little bit more buried than I realized. I knew it was gonna be a little bit difficult, but I'm hoping we don't have too many issues pulling this thing out. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll go back down. This might be the only time you have to go down. Oh. Second, I mean, second time. No, it's not a joke. Let's not kid ourselves. I don't know, man. We've been surprised before. But it wouldn't be a re recovered episode if we didn't struggle a little bit. Ready to rock? Let's bow and ready. We might not want to take your gear off till we tighten it. That's a good first sign. No, oh, it's stuck. <laughs> Just kind of want to see a big bubble shoot up. I think going slow is the key here, real slow. Slide, it keeps sliding. 
Well, it's not, not really, but it's not moving either. I don't see a single bubble. I don't see any bubbles either. We might have to, yeah, we might have to, might have to, might have to lift up. bag it. Give up? That's not in our vocabulary. We'll put every lift bag on the same before we give up. It's not moving. It's like, there's, it's not even, it's nothing. There's nothing happening. Plan B. There's a plan B? Start digging. <laughs> well, my only other idea before we do anything like that is I hook to the front of your van. Give us that extra weight. That might work. I am not the least bit surprised, but this thing is buried in the mud and it is not breaking free. Get a little nervous because we have lift bags, but we kind of don't have the stuff to air up the lift bag. So hopefully this thing breaks free. We're just going to keep on giving it a pull pull, see what happens. Because we forgot the lift bags, because we're a little rusty, this might be our last resort to give us this extra weight we need. Patience is the key. We always like expect it just to instantly start pulling, but this thing's been sitting for 30 years. Dang. Right, you know? If you were sitting in a chair for 30 years, you wouldn't want to move either. Oh, I'm excited now. It broke free. Did it? Did it broke free? All right, man, how you feeling? A little bit better, but we all know, like it's not, it's got a right. It was mostly mud. I didn't come across any big ob ob yeah. objects. So once it gets here, it's probably gonna it's gonna start turning into a, a mess. Oh yeah. But at least we'll be able to go down and, and use the other hook. Yeah, we got we got headway though. It broke free, right? Yeah, it's it's on its way. All right, let's keep going. A big old log floating out there. That's a, that's called driftwood. That's the Loch Ness monster, man. That's right there. That would get us thirty-five thousand right there. It might. Thirty. Well, I think the good wood doesn't float. You have to dive down to get yeah. it. Yeah. That probably get us thirty-five cents. Yeah. Maybe. Does the buoy look like it's moving? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we just pulling an axle in. We'll find out. It's got a lot of weight on it, so I don't think we're pulling an axle. I think we got the car. This is gonna look awesome. If we could just get it up on this ramp without destroying it. I know. Will this be the one that gets us arrested? Tune in! Maybe. <laughs> well, would you look at this? Man, I found your oh, life. I found I've been looking vest. for that. <laughs> yeah, everybody's always saying you need to wear a life vest. Yeah, we got one. Here you go. Let me see if I can, see if I can put it on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it fits perfectly, man. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Driving right out. Oh, oh! It's that beer can. There it is. I see it. I see the hood. Dang! Look at that. Keep going. Keep going. I'm baby it because like I can feel the front of this thing lifting up. Getting hung up. Well, your van's there. It's not gonna go anywhere. I don't want to break a cable. That's my thing. Well, go hook on the other tire. As long as it's moving, then it's not hung up. Once you get it right here, it'll be good. Man, look how orange that thing is. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, we gotta get, we'll get another hook on the other side and that, that'll definitely finish the job. Yeah. Right now it's freaking me out, but I think a hook on each wheel Nothing's breaking. That is awesome. It was actually pretty easy. Besides that first initial suction, you know? Yeah. Just had to get over that. There she goes. Hey, it popped over. Oh no, we lost a we lost a headlight. Dang. That is nuts. She's toasty. Big orange taxi cab. Tell me if you guys will never see in these. What happened? Making a weird noise.
running out of oil, I think, that's why. I don't know, I don't like it at all. Oh, dude, the back's falling apart. Oh, no. Oh, God, we're gonna lose the rear end. Is the whole rear end gonna fall off? It looks like it. <laughs> oh, no. Holy smokes, dude. It might hold on. So we do try to clean up the oil when we can, with these oil pads. Sometimes it's gas, which doesn't collect on these. These are just for oil, but still. We do our best to clean up the environment, remove these cars and polluting the water more than they already have been. I mean, we're not gonna get it out up much, too much farther. No, I'll probably have to drive forward. And just like, probably put the wrecker where the van is. And then it'll pull, it should pull it right up onto the concrete, you think? Or the, I mean, or the back end, it's kind of like that other car we pulled out, it just fell apart. Well, this shit's falling apart. Did it look like it was all pulling apart or? Oh yeah, it's kind of wobbly. Like the frame and axle still Yeah, here? yeah. More times than not, these things will leak oil, gas, whatever else is on it. And while we can't do much about the gas, it does evaporate though. But what we do when we see an oil leak, we'll get our oil pads out. These oil pads are made to absorb oil, not water, not gas, anything like petroleum based. And they're really good too. So we have ourselves a little oil leak going on and it pooled up right here. So like we've already sucked most of that oil up. So yeah. that's exactly why we do that. And we could always use more. Yeah. So by all means, if you guys are feeling like you want to give they're, us some. They're on our uh, wish list. Yeah, right? they're definitely on a wish list. And they come in packs like that. And yeah, they, they come are, in packs of 50. I mean, most of the time we'll burn through a whole pack if yeah. we need to, yeah. but it helps. So it's worth it. Oh yeah. Pull the van where the let's pull the let's pull the record where the van is, and then we could pull this up on the boat ramp. Is it gonna stay right there if we let it down? Or we'll leave the line attached, just let it loose and pull up. What are you talking about? We'll leave the, the hook on it. Oh no! And just let it loose on the wrecker and drive up so it stays on. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. But look at this thing, man. This is so cool. The back is kind of falling apart, and we do need to check inside because it looks like the windows are up. Yeah, windows are up, but we'll get the rest of the way out of the water and they'll pop a window, see if there's anything in there. Yeah. It's been out a long time, so if anyone is in there, it's just going to be bones. You can see right there, it says Plymouth. And it is orange. It doesn't look too orange right now because it's covered in mud. But uh, there's a CD on the front. It's like a bag here or something. I mean, it drugged through the dirt, so who knows what we picked up on the way. There's not much room up top the hill. I don't think we need to pull it up that far. Let's just pull it up like right here. And then the flatbed can do the rest. What do you think? I think you're beautiful. Thank no you. matter what they say. Appreciate it. All right, the car is coming out. This is so amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit losing hope there for a minute. But then, hey, you know what? You know, we, I never should have doubted us. We always get these cars out. So uh, let's get this thing out, get a closer look, and then call the police. All right, so you're hooking that. Hopefully. J hook on that side. <laughs> Oh, don't, be a, oh, don't be a baby. Oh, I'm a big baby. I don't, man. Come on. You look so buff there, man. <laughs> Is there no wheel? Yeah, it's there. I can turn. You think the bumper would hold? I mean, no. What CD? What CD is it? Just uh, pre recorded. Bootleg. Man, but that thing has some stories to tell. Doesn't it? Let's see if we can just pull it up just a wee bit more. Yeah. That one cable. Maybe we're getting lucky. Dedication right here, boys. 
Is that what it is? Yeah. That separates the men from the other men. Oh, I got it in my ear. Just hook on this. There we go. I think there's a big rock right there, though. Well, I think we got as far as we can go. We can call the flatbed it from here. It must be like full of mud, maybe through the roof, because uh, yeah, now that it's out of the water, it ain't, it ain't moving. It's pretty uh, stuck. It, mud keeps falling out, that's all I know. Yeah, I mean, but it's See on the- you can look inside though. It's up there. I think they, they'd be able to get it on the flatbed from here. I mean, yeah, yeah. They, they know what they're doing. <laughs> we just did the hard work. Yeah, we, we set it up for them. But Check it out, it's got decals and everything. I wish we had a pressure washer, man. God, I got the phone number. Air conditioner, fast, friendly service. That is awesome. I wonder what the story was behind this. 24 hour airport service. I don't know, you made a wrong turn apparently. So what are we doing, you gonna bust oh, a window look out? Look at Crawdad. He just a little feller. Oh, she's really good. Ah! Eat him, eat him. I freed him. I jumped like a woman. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'll do this one? Yeah. Built last. I'm being a wussy about it. Holy smokes. Might be reinforced. God. <laughs> I mean, it is full of them. I don't see anything, but there's a lot of mud. The door work? I mean, there's no handle. You know, the interior must be leather because it's in still pretty good condition. The whole back is just falling out, though. Look at the whole front windows. We can pull the front window off, too, if you want. Pull it over on the side, I guess. Dang. We could have sold it if it didn't break. Yeah. Somebody rebuilding a... We can get to the VIN number, though, for sure, I think. Yeah. Plymouth Fury was produced in 1956 and was one of their longest standing cars. Some even argue it's Plymouth's first muscle car. Many were sold as fleet vehicles until the early 1980s and were even a favorite of many police forces. The Big Orange Taxi Company was started by Chester Holmes in Knoxville, Tennessee from the early 1970s till 2016. Their style of their taxi had definitely changed over the years and how the car got into the river is still a mystery. So there is a VIN number here. It's kind of one of those situations where it's so old. Yeah, if it's not directly linked to some crime, they're not going to have anything on record. It's so old. Dude, did you see this hook? Oh man, it bent the hook? Yeah, we almost, uh, Dang. We almost created a projectile. That, that hook's seen better be. <laughs> Oh, the VIN number just came off. I got it. <laughs> Good thing they make these with a different type of metal. There she is. Well, let's call the police and uh, we can just go ahead and call the tow company. Yeah. Before. Do what we did last time. We removed cars from the river and we ended up, we pulled out another one uh, down here at the Neyland or Neyland boat ramp, Neyland Drive. 
and we want to let you guys know about it see if you knew about it or run the numbers and make sure it wasn't linked to any crimes or anything like that how's it going not too much got a car for you it's like it's been there a minute yeah i think it's like an 80s plymouth I'm honestly surprised on how good of a condition it's in for being in the water that long. There's a VIN number we got, though. I don't think there's a plate. Jeremy. Hey, Marshall, man. Nice to meet you. Have y'all gotten the VIN off of it yet? Uh, yeah, it's right here on the plate. I think we've been on it for a minute. Oh, yeah. I guess there was a big orange cab company, but it's permanently closed yep. now. Yep. They, they were open like recently, not too long ago. I don't know if this is like the, the big empire one or if this was exclusive to Knoxville because of the college. Because there's a there's a big orange taxi yeah. right here in Knoxville, but it says permanently closed online. That actually isn't surprisingly good. Really. Yeah. Yeah, I was Yeah, I was kinda of surprised. We pulled a Volvo out like down the road down the stream a little ways. We ripped that thing apart. Really? But somehow we managed to get it out with two pieces. <laughs> 44 Bravo on it. 44 Bravo. Can I get a 29 check on a VIN? Romeo, Lima 4, 1, Golf 7, Alpha, 1, 4, 0, 5, 5. A 29 is negative over 28, not on sunlight. 10 4, thank you. Man, not surprised. <laughs> How far out was it? Maybe 100 feet just downstream a little bit. Wasn't wasn't the worst. It was on its wheels and everything, so a lot of things in that river. <laughs> There's another car way down there, but oh, really? I don't know if we can we might come back someday and float that one. That's it going. Yeah. Under the bridge. It's like three of them right there. It's a Plymouth. It is. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Plymouth Fury? I don't know, but I don't know. Yeah. It's a Fury. I run through here just about every Sunday morning. Uh -huh. I would never think to think of something in the water. Yeah, there's another one too farther down. We were telling him. There's so many out here. It's ridiculous. Wow. You find an 07 Silverado. I had my truck stolen a couple years ago. So. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. <laughs> it's like the other one, the whole back end's falling off. Oh, God. A special thank you to Cedar Bluff Towing right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is the third car that they have done uh, on their dime in their time. And uh, they are a super awesome company to work with. If you ever need a tow, I suggest you call Cedar Bluff Towing. Look them up. They're really awesome. I mean, look at the mess we just made. And they're, they're helping us get rid of this car. And I'm sure they're going to help us again. So once again, call Cedar Bluff Towing if you guys need a tow. I highly recommend these guys. successful day this is number nine that's I mean it's nine for nine this is another car that we ended up ripping in two pieces but I mean it was really old so I'm really surprised we got it out yeah. like is is as good as it was until until the inevitable ripping of it's starting to become like a reoccurring thing for older cars just to rip the back end out yeah they're like <laughs> yeah if we find old cars we're gonna ruin them that's all there's to it I mean but they're ruined anyways who cares but I, I mean it, it, it we were struggling there for a minute. You kind of, I saw it in your eyes, you lost hope. I, well, I was nervous because <laughs> nothing was happening. Like, you only make things so tight, and I was like, I'm gonna break the cable. It was pretty tight, and, it, and the tow truck was sliding down. We had to hook your Yeah, it was, it was messy, but it worked. Yeah. I mean, it finally broke free. Yeah. So, another one in the books. Another one. Yeah, now we just gotta figure out why there's so much hydraulic fluid leaking from your truck. Yeah, I think the tow truck is not quite fixed, and it's, uh, it's gonna have to go back to the shop, but maybe I can put a, uh, you know, some speed this time, some fire under there. Or find somebody else. Probably find somebody else. <laughs> but I really appreciate you guys watching us again. I know it's been a while, and I promise we're gonna try to put another episode out as soon as we can. We have a bunch more cars we know of that are hopefully gonna be 
just as easy as yeah. this one. We're going for weekly videos. It's gonna be awesome, but we uh, we need your help. Yeah. So by all means, subscribe to the channel and keep watching to keep us motivated to keep pulling these cars out. Yeah. And uh, I think it's time to eat some dinner. Yeah. I mean, we're going on a biscuit, it's time for dinner. Sounds good. So make sure to subscribe, check out our YouTube channels, Spoil the Mug, Adam Brown Adventures. We're out. Later.